getting your phone sheet started. Welcome to Phone Sheet. We're excited to get you started in your new phone sheet right away. This video will walk you through the simple process to do exactly that. The first step is to simply log in with the user ID and password that you submitted when you created your account. Whenever you log in, you'll be taken to your private phone sheet homepage. This is where you'll see a list of all your active calls. As we're starting with a brand new account, there are no active calls and therefore it's empty. But we'll change that now by adding the first call record. We'll first click the new call button. This brings up the new call details pop-up. As you can see, there's some basic call information that's already filled in for you, such as the date and time of the call. There's also an indicator of who called who. In this example, you received the call, so we'll leave it marked as in. Now you can just go ahead and type the name in. Phone number. And the information from the message that you received. Now click Submit. After submitting, we're taken back to the phone sheet and you can see that the new calls listed as an incoming call where someone left a message for you. Let's jump ahead to the same account after a few days of use. Now when we create a new call, the process will move even faster because you've been building your contact list just through your regular use of phone sheet. So first click New Call, start typing the name, and as you type, you'll see the name you desire. Click on the name you want, and as you'll see, the phone information will appear. Now when you make the call, you're already in your phone sheet, ready to take any notes if required. Let's say in this case, we just leave a message on the machine. So we mark left message, add the content of the message we left to our notes field, and click Submit. When you look at the list view, you can see that the calls are organized and color-coded. Incoming calls where you received a message are in red. Outgoing calls where you made the phone call and left a message are in blue. The calls in green are pending calls, or calls that you are reminding yourself that you want to make at some point in the future. There are also brown calls, which are considered complete, but still active. This feature is often used when a call is complete, but there's still a follow-up action from that call's conversation. For example, in this record, you promise to send the discussed package next day mail. Even though the call is complete, you're leaving it on your phone sheet to remind you of that remaining action. And once you send the package, you can remove the call record from your active call sheet by clicking on the checkbox and then clicking deactivate. And the call is taken off your active phone sheet. So when do you use deactivate versus delete? Well, when you choose delete, it deletes the record forever. We highly recommend that you use the deactivate button because it takes the record off your active home page, but it keeps that record available in your archive, in your call history. For example, if we go to the record we just deactivated, which we can do by searching for that person's name, and then we can select that person from the search results. This is the search results page. As you can see, it shows all names and calls related to that search request. And when you click on their name, you're taken to the contact details page where you can see all of that contact's information. Below their information is their call history. And as you can see, that call record we made inactive is listed here in gray. That's a quick run through of the basic features of phone sheet. We recommend that you go to the help button where you can find other videos with more tips and tutorials regarding the different features of phone sheet. If you're a BlackBerry user, be sure to watch the video about getting started with the phone sheet BlackBerry app. We highly recommend this video as it's the most effective way of getting your contacts into PhoneSheet. Also, if you're an Outlook user, you can find a video there on how to export your contacts out of Outlook and into PhoneSheet. 
If you have a question, idea, problem, or even praise, you can click on the feedback button and submit it to our community board. A phone sheet representative will respond soon after. Please note that you can also follow phone sheet on Twitter and Facebook. We are always sharing new information, not just about phone sheet, but about other technology news and anything else that we find interesting and want to share with you. Finally, you can also check out our blog where we're always posting new information about phone sheet and other videos regarding the latest features. Thank you again for using phone sheet. We look forward to bringing you increased efficiency and organization to this critical part of your business and life. Phone sheet. At your desk, on your phone, everywhere.